in the last lecture we studied uh, some phenomena which are exhibited by nonlinear systems uh, one more phenomena which is there in nonlinear systems is called bifurcation what is bifurcation uh, if you change uh, some parameter of a system that results into change in number of equilibrium points and uh, each uh, equilibrium point may have a different behavior uh, for example, uh, if we consider this nonlinear equation, uh, for this nonlinear system, we can easily find the equilibrium points. How to determine the equilibrium points? Simply substitute all the derivatives to be equal to zero. Uh, so, therefore, uh, the solution to this equation gives us the equilibrium points. Uh, we can simply rearrange this equation to write in this way, and uh, therefore, uh, this equation has uh, these uh, solutions for alpha where alpha is uh, some parameter of a system for alpha greater than 0 one root of this equation is at x equal to 0 and two roots are at uh, this uh, location so how many equilibrium points are there in this particular system so this x what is x x is a state of the system and it is something real and on the right hand side what do we have an imaginary number it means that this is not the solution uh, to our equation so we have only one solution at x equal to 0 that is uh, the, the only real solution other two solutions are not uh, real solutions so the system has only one equilibrium point for alpha greater than 0 right and for our uh, alpha less than 0 what is situation uh, the same equation has uh, these roots now this alpha is something uh, negative and uh, this whole thing which is inside square root that is positive number and positive number a uh, square root of uh, positive number is a real number so now we have uh, three uh, roots to this equation three real roots to that equation so now we have how many equilibrium points three equilibrium points yes there is question so this alpha is negative and there is one more negative sign over here for example alpha is minus one so minus one into this negative sign that is positive one and then we have a square root of plus one is a real number right plus one and minus one so now we have uh, three roots to this equation uh, that is by changing a parameter of a system the number of equilibrium points uh, are changed and this phenomena is called bifurcation if you show the roots of this equation in a graph we have uh, this situation for alpha uh, on this uh, horizontal axis we have this parameter alpha on the vertical axis we have the equilibrium points if alpha is greater than 0 then uh, we have uh, the equilibrium points uh, equal to 0 right for alpha for all values of alpha which are greater than 0 the equilibrium point is at 0 this simply we have uh, uh, shown this uh, this thing in a graphical way and for alpha less than uh, 0 how many equilibrium points one equilibrium point is at uh, origin and uh, another equilibrium point is equal to uh, this uh, square root of alpha with positive sign and third root is the uh, square root of minus alpha with negative sign so this uh, uh, phenomena is called bifurcation and uh, there are different uh, shapes of this uh, graph for different uh, equations this particular graph is called uh, and therefore this particular uh, bifurcation is called pitchfork bifurcation right uh, because of its shape another interesting phenomena which is exhibited by nonlinear systems is chaos what happens in linear systems is that if you slightly change the initial conditions there is only slight change in the response of the system 
likewise if there is slight change in uh, for example input to the system there will be slight change in the output right likewise if there is a slight change in parameters of the system uh, the behavior of the system is not significantly changed whereas uh, for nonlinear systems uh, uh, this thing behavior of uh, these nonlinear systems that is extremely sensitive to small changes in initial conditions inputs and parameters to that system uh, and this phenomena is called chaos let's celebrate this thing with the help of one example we have uh, this uh, nonlinear system and uh, uh, the response of the system uh, let's uh, plot it using uh, MATLAB here we have implemented uh, the, that particular equation x double dot plus point uh, one x dot plus x power five is equal to six sine of t. So if uh, uh, this thing is x, then this is uh, x dot, and here is x double dot, and x double dot is equal to six multiplied by sine of t. So here is a sine of t. Uh, multiplied by 6 is inside and uh, these two terms brought to the right hand side become negative uh, one is uh, this term is 0.1 x dot so here 0.1 x dot and x to the power 5 so x to the power 5 we have simply implemented this equation uh, and uh, the same uh, system is implemented over here the same system uh, we only slightly change uh, the input for this system we have we apply an input uh, with amplitude equal to 6 and for the other system which is basically the same system but we apply different input to this particular system we have applied an input with amplitude 5.99 very small variation small change in the amplitude of the input let's see the response of the two systems So here you can see that uh, small variation input and in input has resulted into significant variation in the response of the two systems. Uh, if it is, I think it is visible. Uh, so maybe we, we change it from here settings. Anyway, uh, that will be, uh, I have uh, uh, plotted it over here. That is more visible that is for different initial conditions slight change uh, this blue curve is for x uh, x of 0 equal to 2 and x dot equal to uh, 3 uh, this is one set of initial condition this is second set of initial conditions and uh, there is very small variation in uh, small change in the uh, initial condition that has resulted into very significant uh, change in the response of the system uh, and uh, the same is the case for different inputs here we have applied an input with this amplitude and uh, uh, the same system uh, simulated with another amplitude there is significant variation in the uh, response of the systems uh, 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 is small if, if you simulate for if, if you take any linear system and simulate that particular linear system for the same set uh, small uh, changes in initial conditions you will observe that there is only a uh, small change very small change in the uh, response of the system maybe for these uh, small variations you will not be able to observe uh, the differences between the two responses likewise uh, here if you apply inputs of different amplitudes you will not be able to uh, see any difference between the responses of the, 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 that system for two different inputs over here what we observe is that there is a significant uh, difference between the two graphs blue graph here for example at these time instants significantly different from this graph and uh, this phenomena is called chaos uh, it is different from stochasticity what is stochastic behavior 
so if you simulate this particular system for for example this initial condition you will always get this blue curve you will always get this blue curve that is behavior is deterministic it is not stochastic what about stochastic systems if you simulate a stochastic system for one time instant its behavior is different at another at another simulation its behavior will be different so for stochastic system under all if you keep all the uh, conditions the same still behavior of the system or response of the system is different right however this is not a stochastic system this is a deterministic system if you simulate this system for these initial conditions all the times you will get this blue curve the same curve however small variation in these initial conditions and uh, some uh, thing other something else will result into significant variation in the response of the system and uh, this phenomena is called chaos so this was uh, a brief introduction to uh, nonlinear systems uh, in this course we shall be talking about uh, these uh, contents uh, first of all we shall study the analysis of nonlinear systems and uh, there are different uh, techniques to analyze uh, nonlinear systems uh, this uh, approach phase plane analysis uh, that's it, that is applicable to second order nonlinear systems uh, we shall study this approach and uh, we shall also study this uh, describing function analysis approach and uh, Lepanov stability uh, we shall study these uh, analysis techniques and then comes uh, the design part design of controllers for nonlinear systems and uh, for that purpose we shall uh, study uh, these uh, design techniques uh, feedback linearization based design and uh, then we shall talk about uh, sliding mode control uh, we shall also uh, study uh, backstepping approach and if we get time we shall also talk about Lyapunov redesign technique and uh, what prerequisites uh, for this course uh, is uh, a basic course uh, on linear systems uh, so all of you have taken uh, courses on uh, linear systems and uh, differential equations uh, that is uh, you, you will see differential equations everywhere in this course uh, as you have already seen uh, in your uh, linear uh, control theory the difference is over here is you will be having uh, nonlinear differential equations uh, references main reference will be this book nonlinear systems by Hassan Khalil and uh, the second uh, reference will be applied nonlinear control by slow time this is another book which is rather more uh, mathematical uh, we shall not very frequently use it however some of you who uh, would be studying uh, uh, nonlinear control in more details and some advanced topics they can also uh, consult this book by this third author this is highly mathematical i generally do not recommend this book for uh, starters and uh, this one is very good book and uh, uh, this not only uh, is it, it is easy to understand and furthermore it is uh, also it, it gives in-depth knowledge not only surface knowledge but in-depth knowledge and some uh, mathematical proofs